Uh, Nicole, let's, let's uh, move on to you. So I finally got around to finishing uh, the book Eartha. Um, I read about half of it uh, when it close to when it first came out, and I liked it, and then I didn't finish it. Mm. Uh, okay, so Eartha is by Kathy Malcassian. She's done a bunch of other things. I think Wake Up Percy is another one. This is my first book that I've read by Kathy, though. And it follows a woman named Eartha. She is a tall, robust, uh, very sweet, gentle person living in this world that is across the water from the big city. And in this world, in this town, um, the villagers take care of the city folk's dreams, like, like, a, like a farmer tends crops. And over time, they're noticing that the dreams are not coming around as much. And there's this strange dream where Eartha finds um, a young girl and a moon falls down and the moon says, run. And, um, and she goes to one of the, the oldest people um, in the town who is an archivist and it sends him like a message, like he knows why that dream is happening and he sends her across to the city um, with, with the idea that he needs smokesticks, not that she needs to solve any sort of mysteries at all. And um, I wouldn't say she's necessarily simple, but she's very like a straightforward, honest person and everyone around her respects and trusts her. And um, like, she's, since she's like very strong and powerful, she'll like hold people a lot of times and, and uh, so I think that she just believes people at face value. Like, she doesn't have any reason to ever, like, mistrust anybody. Because in this town, even though people might fight and stuff, they're still pretty transparent with each other about things. Um, so she just takes him on his word, like, he needs these smokesticks or he's going to die. And she goes into, into the city where she finds out that there's a lot of dismay happening in the city. Um, and... I don't know if I want to say more because I liked the journey of it. Mm -hmm. I hope, hopefully, if this catches your eye uh, or your ear, uh, depending on how you're viewing this, um, then I would definitely recommend checking it out. It's got this really beautiful uh, pencil work, like uh, mm. like colored pencil and beautiful tones. Um, the characters are very sweet, and the uh, story both has like it does have a political message, but it's one that you kind of know, and it's not like hitting you over the head or anything like that. Um, and it just works really well. It's beautifully done. It's emotionally evocative. Um, it's really pretty. It's got talking cats in it, which I think is always <laughs> a bonus. Um, but if you want something that's just a really good self-contained story that's uh, a little off the beaten path, I would definitely recommend checking out Eartha. It's a good size book. It's a, it's a, um, a landscape size, and it's $30.00. It is as much of a, like an art piece as it is a piece of literature um, in its own way. So I really enjoyed finishing up this story. I loved the characters. There was like a little mist, not like full tears, but there were feelings, um, which I always think is is is, um, is a is a nod of the hat to the to the writer um, for being able to create something that has me so immersed that I feel for the people who are in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nicole. Eartha. 